welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be I will be sharing why these cages are bad. Now, this cage is very small. This was my old cage and this is the base of my old cage and I will be showing you why these cages are bad and why you should not be using them. Based on the measurements, this is 123.25 square inches of floor space. It is way too small. The bare minimum is 450 square inches of floor space, and this is obviously way too small. I still have the box of this, and it is the great choice hamster home and gerbil home. And as you can see here, it says 15 by 9, but they actually rounded it. It was actually 14.5 by 8.5. So to review the content of this, it says that it also says it contains an exercise wheel. Now this exercise wheel is only 5 inches. <laughs> way too small for any type of hamster even the robo it also has this vertical tunnel that hamsters can have trouble going up and it is way too small for syrians to fit in this water bottle leaks way too much it drips so much and it doesn't work at all so i really do not recommend this it also comes with this plastic base that goes on top of the cage with this food dish. To add on to that, it says it is for hamsters and gerbils, although it is not for gerbils because gerbils are plastic chewers. They chew so well and they can chew so, they can chew through any, like plastic, so you cannot give this since it has a plastic base. I will insert a picture. So I am going to fill this base with bedding so that you can see it. Okay, so I have filled this the best I can with bedding, and this is about three and a half inches of depth so that is not that is not enough for hamsters to burrow or make nests inside or anything like that so this is not a suitable amount of bedding so the first thing i'm going to put in is the hideout so you're going to need the hideout for them to hide and Next, I am going to put my toy because you need a toy so that they are entertained. And this is the only toy I have that can fit into this cage. That is how weird it is. And then some chew toys. So I put a willow ball and a willow stick inside. So I am using this top for my current cage. So it's a little hard for me to put it on, uh, but this is how it looks. And the last thing I put in is the food dish, which I will put in there. And then the water bottle, which will kind of go through there. I am really sorry for the bad quality, it's just that I'm using this for my cage and so it won't go on properly, but I just really wanted to do this so that I could show people who are using tiny cages that you should not be using this because it is not safe for hamsters and hamsters will chew on the bars constantly or 
monkey bar my hamster did this when she was in this cage though she hated this cage so much and i really wanted to get her a new cage and you also can't fit sand bath and all that enrichment stuff in here so that's why you should not be using this stuff talk a little bit about the hamster cages and everything you need um also other reasons why that cage is not suitable you it's just not okay imagine someone locking you up in a tiny little cage it's just that's not good so yeah and the bare minimum is 450 square inches of floor space so some top well, that is still on the small side, um, and for Tyrion and Dwarfs, the bare minimum is still the same, even though the dwarf is a lot smaller, it's still the same, so, yeah. And you also can't fit all the stuff you need in a too small, in too small of a cage, so in that cage, you can't put enough bedding in, you can't put a proper sized wheel so for a dwarf she should be using an eight inch that would be a good one and if a Syrian was in there you could definitely not fit an 11 inch because 11 inch wheels are they're very big and I know a lot of people say that you know a lot of people who have hamsters with our kids like me and I know like Pe kids are going to be like, I don't have enough money for a big cage. But that is not actually true. A lot of the cages that kids buy or other people buy are way too small. And they're very expensive. The cage I got there was the great choice one. So uh, it was $30 for just that little thing. So there were like two choices. You could either get the exact same, that great choice thing for $60 with a tiny pack of bedding, a tiny thing of food, like a tiny thing of everything that you need. And that was $60. And the Detolf I have currently was $60. So that doesn't make any sense. Another advantage of having a large cage like the Detolf de is that you will save a lot of money on bedding. Now, I know that people are like, oh, if we have such a big cage, we're going to be using so much bedding and we're going to waste all of our money on bedding. But, however, that is not true. With a large cage, you barely have to clean the cage. Cages like the Detol are really big, so your hamster isn't really going to be walking on that area too much. So, with a large cage, the Detol, you will not have to clean it more than once in two months, so that is like the least you can clean it. So, with that cage, if I only have to half clean it every month, because you have to half clean it, you can never full clean it if you are going to clean the cage itself you only need to clean the dirty parts and not clean the dirty parts but you only have to throw away the dirty parts and you can keep anything that is clean and reuse it as long as you can unless it's clean and if it's yellow or soiled because if it's yellow it's pee and poop just you know throw all that away so with this bag of, this is an 85 liter bag of KT Clean and Cozy bedding and this can last at least three changes of bedding um, depending on how you, like, how much there is soiled. So in conclusion with this, you actually save a lot more whereas if you have a tiny cage like that one 
you are only going to be using you will you will have to like clean it every week because it gets dirty so quickly with all the pee and everything and it's just gonna keep on going down and you're gonna end up wasting a lot more money and you also have to throw more away with a small cage and with a big cage you will be able to fit all the things you need like a sand bath and a lot of toys so they don't get bored a different variety of chew toys a very large wheel lots of tubes you can scatter feed them and like give them bowls of water because the only way you can give them a bowl of water is they have a platform and it's really hard to make a platform in a small cage because then it would take a, up a lot of space. Also, you can put a lot more bedding, especially for Syrians. They can't really burrow that much. But if you have a dwarf, they could possibly do that. But that's just really, like, just, it's like that. You know, you know what I mean? So in conclusion, it is very important to have a large cage and I would really recommend if you don't want to get the detox, you could get the 40 gallon aquarium. A 40 gallon aquarium has like 640 I think square inch of the floor space and I don't think, yeah I don't know how much a 30 gallon is but I wouldn't get that so that's like a really good size. But 40 gallon aquariums are so expensive. They're like $250. No, I don't know how much. They're really expensive. So that's why I would recommend getting the detail for only 60 USD. So thanks for watching. Bye. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, thanks for watching.